फाइव सेकेंड्स द पिटिशनर फाइल्ड ए सूट फॉर स्पेसिफिक परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एन अलीज एग्रीमेंट ऑफ सेल डेटेड फिफ्टीन सेवन टू थाउजेंड थ्री द ट्रायल कोर्ट डिसमिस्ड द सूट बाय जजमेंट एंड डिक्री डेटेड नाइनटीन फिफ्थ टू थाउजेंड एट द हाई कोर्ट डिसमिस्ड द पिटिशनर्स अपील बोथ द कोर्ट्स हेल्ड दैट द पिटिशनर हैड नॉट अप्रोच्ड द कोर्ट विद क्लीन हैंड्स एंड दैट ही हैड फेल्ड टू प्रूव एनी कंक्लूडेड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर सेल हाई कोर्ट फाउंड दैट द डिफेंडेंट्स इन द सूट वर ऑल्सो नॉट अब वर्ड इन देयर कंडक्ट इट फाउंड दैट both sides were guilty of having lied on oath and deserved to be prosecuted on the ground that courts were overburdened with litigation the high court decided that instead of directing prosecution heavy costs should be levied on both petitioner and respondents to be paid to the state which spends money on providing the judicial infrastructure it then proceeded to impose exemplary costs of rupees 1 lakh on the petitioner and rupees 1 lakh on the respondents and directed that the costs should be deposited with the delhi high court legal service committee feeling aggrieved by the dismissal of his appeal the petitioner is before his, this court on merits we find that the concurrent findings of the trial court and the high court court do not warrant interference and therefore this is not a fit case for grant of leave the learned counsel for the petitioner submitted that levying costs of rupees 1 lakh against the petitioner was not warranted he submitted that as the appeal before the high court arose out of a civil suit costs were governed by section 35 and 35a of the code of civil procedure and cannot exceed what is liable under those provisions under section 35 of the code award of costs of discretionary but subject to the conditions and limitations as may be prescribed and the provisions of any law for the time being in force under section 35a compensatory costs for vexatious claims and defenses may not exceed 2 rupees 3000 further the primary object of levying costs under section 35 and 35a of the code is to recompense a litigant for the expense incurred by him in litigation of vindicate or defend his right it is therefore payable by a losing litigant to his successful opponent when an appellant or a plaintiff has already paid the prescribed court fee in regard to the appeal or suit to the state at the time of institution it is debatable whether any costs can be awarded to the state by way of penalty in a litigations between two private parties one view has been that the provisions of section 35 and 35a of the code do not in any way affect the wide discretion vested in by high court in exercise of its inherent power to award costs in the interests of justice 
in appropriate civil cases. The more sound view, however, is that though award of costs is within the discretion of the court, it is subject to such conditions and limitations as may be prescribed and subject to the provisions of any law for the time being in force. Thank you.